beautiful spring morning in Dublin and a young lady sets out to cycle to work. Una Boyle must have one of the most unique jobs in Ireland, for she is tasked with teaching young people to play chess through Irish. This isn't the only unusual profession she has taken on and excelled at. She has also been an industrial designer, a jeweller, and the lead singer in an award-winning music group. My father and mother were great in that they gave me the love of chess, the love of um, the Irish language and the freedom to find art in my life. When I studied art, it was very formulated and I designed like perfume bottles, ironmongery, kitchen utensils. But I think my love of design and art was more in the freedom of expression and I could do that with jewellery. I did go the batch production thing with making New Grange jewellery, spirals, Celtic images, which was great. I <laughs> sold lots of jewellery in New Grange, but it, it lost its character. It lo I lost the love of making it, it became a job. But one job Una did enjoy was as lead singer with Celtic fusion group Hyperborea, who released four critically acclaimed LPs and won a Hot Press Award in 1998. Music was another huge creative open door. It started off trying to understand, learning about music, playing the indie garage band stuff. And then I was able to find um, emergence between music and my creative head when I entered into the world of Hyperborea. The touring hasn't just been confined to her band work, for in 2008 she was invited to represent Ireland in the Chess Olympiad, which saw her travelling Europe and even Siberia. When you're playing chess, there isn't a language of English, Irish, French. That's what's wonderful about um, international events. Because when you're playing chess, you're just playing the language of chess, which is understood by both people playing. But when you're instructing people, children, whatever, it's, it's nicer to instruct in their language. Yeah. And in the Gael schools and here in Skolengsa, Irish is their language. Bring loads. Breakfast. Five years ago, we invited Una to come to our school to teach chess. And since that very first lesson, chess has become such a huge part of our school community and the culture within the school. Research shows that um, chess has huge benefits. It increases children's ability to um, problem solve. Their mathematical skills are increased. It gives the children an opportunity uh, to, to, to mix with other children of other ages. The love of chess was given to me primarily from my father, uh, as was the Irish language. And I was asked to teach chess to young children by Grandmaster Alex Baburin. I discovered very quickly that there was absolutely no information of chess in Irish, so I had to go and work really hard very quickly to get the language together to teach the children through their language. It's a live link between our language, Untanga Gaelga, uh, our culture and our heritage. The Celtic thread that travels through Una's art, music and teaching has now culminated in the publication of a unique Irish language chess book, Feel, meaning wood sense. I spoke to people who understood the language, understood chess, and over five years I was able to get a pretty comprehensive book of chess in Irish. The Shanokal ni Vialehe de Rishan comes to my mind, meaning there'll be nobody else like like Una. I think that Una has taken a lot from a lot of lessons from the game of chess. Because she's able to take a risk. She knows what she wants, she has the end in sight, and she's happy to, to play the game of life whatever way that she needs to be to get to that destination. Mm -hmm.